everybody, it's Minty and Acorn, and today we're going to be looking at the Galmon PD1161 drawing tablet. It is so pretty, and it's perfect for traveling. Starting off opening the box, you get the battery-free stylus it comes with, a glove, and also a 3-in-1 integrated cable. The first part I'm showing you is the plugs that plug into your computer and that power adapter, the power of the Galmon, and then the other side is the plugs you plug into your Galmon tablet. Here is the power adapter that connects to the 3-in-1 integrated cable. And as you can see, it looks a little weird, right? Well, they have this US power adapter that plugs right into it. Yeah, here's the plug that plugs into that 3-in-1 integrated cable. Also, this is the uh, pen holder and it comes with eight nibs, which I always appreciate because I can sometimes run through my nibs and it's always really nice to just put in a new nib in that pen and it like flows really smooth. The tablet, as you can tell, is very pretty. It has eight shortcut keys. Perfect for all those little things like pressing the buttons to undo and stuff. And it comes with a screen protector already installed on it. Like that is awesome. I am terrible at putting screen protectors. There's way too much dust in my room. So I really appreciate that. Here is the pen. The pen has 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity. That is crazy. And it's battery free. You don't even have to charge it, which I think is awesome. Here's a close up of everything, as you can tell. So the tablet is running great. And I also wanted to add in some beginner tips while I do this, while I draw my fan art by Melly Martinez for my tablet review. Like that was the first thing that I drew out of the box. So my first tip to any beginner artist is to get Twitter and follow Hanario716. I will leave a link to their Twitter in the description. They post a lot of things like anatomy and hair and all sorts of things, clothing tutorials, and they have helped me so much. Follow this person and learn from them. None of it's in English. So you'll have to look at the pictures, but the pictures are perfect, like good enough for that. I had a really fun time using this tablet. It was very easy to do. The colors are completely on point. Again, this was kind of like a quick sketch. Like I really, really wanted to get a feel for it. My second tip is to use colored lines instead of black lines for your illustrations, especially if you're not using dark environments. Colored lines make such a big difference, especially when you're making pastel cute drawings. Having colored lines can really improve your art and make it look more professional. So that would be my second tip. My third tip is a little bit more complicated, I guess. It's really hard to kind of upfront explain without showing you. But my third tip is like a quick guide of shading. So here we have the base color, then the shading parts. These are the parts that I mainly shade whenever I shade anything. These are the shading zones. Here is the blushing zone, usually where I blush places. And then the last step you can't really see, but at the end of your drawing, putting a hue of that skin tone color like in this case how i did it here kind of gives it a glow almost like the skin is glowing and you can do that on the clothes wherever you can see skin anything around it if you put that skin glow it usually makes it look airy and flowy and pretty and i didn't do it for this drawing again because i was kind of trying the drawing out and like testing out because it is a different Feel. It has that screen protector, which makes it a little bit more like paper. Mm -hmm. 
My final tip is to blend, but keep a nice sharp edge on some things. Like here, these are just sharp edges, you could say. These are flat shading lines that I put. And now I am just using one tool, the blur tool, to blend only like one side of it and kind of make it look like it's sculpted, like, like it has depth, nice and smooth depth. And if you can see the difference by making one side kind of blurred and then the other side a sharp edge or sharpening those edges on one side, it makes a, such a big difference. Um, I hope I explained that okay. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this review. And also a special thank you to Galmon for sending me this tablet to review. Again, the tablet is very light. The screen never went negative for me at any angle, and it was HD and vibrant colors. I really can't say enough about it. I really did find the tablet very easy to use, and it retails at the moment for $230 around that price point. I will leave the links to the Galmon tablet where you can buy it and the drivers and everything like that so that if you are interested in purchasing this tablet, you'll be able to. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for viewing my review on the Galmon PD1161, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. And if it's your birthday, happy birthday!